So how do we calculate the percent by mass of aluminum in aluminum fluoride? Well, it turns out the first step is we're going to calculate the molar mass of aluminum fluoride. So let's do that quickly. Bam. So the first column says to fill out the element uh, in the compound. So we have aluminum here. So I'm going to write aluminum and we have fl fluorine. So we write in fluorine. Next thing is to identify the number of atoms and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of aluminum, there is an invisible one. And that means we have one aluminum atom in aluminum fluoride. Then the subscript of fluorine is a three. So that means that we have three fluorine in aluminum fluoride. We're going to take those numbers of atoms and then we're going to multiply it by the mass of each particular element. Now these masses are found on the periodic table. So let's take a look. Here's aluminum. Here's fluorine, and the number down here will represent either gram per mole or AMU, depending upon if you're calculating molar mass or molecular mass. So let's write in these masses, all right? 26.98 for aluminum, 26.98, and then we're going to plug in the 19 value for the fluorine. Then all we have to do is just simply multiply this row together to get the total mass of the element in the compound. So the total mass of aluminum is going to be 26.98. And the total mass of fluorine here will be 57, 19 times 3. And then all we have to simply do is add this column together to find now the total mass of the entire compound. So when we add those two values together, we get a value of about 83.98. So now since we found the total mass of 83.98, now it really doesn't matter if you call it grams per mole or AMU here because we're calculating percent uh, by mass. I'm just going to call it grams per mole. All right. And uh, the next step is after we calculate this molar mass for aluminum fluoride, the next thing is going to be to calculate the percentages. It's going to be as easy as pi. So let's add in a new column to our table. So now since we're calculating the mass percent for aluminum, all we simply do now is take the total mass of that particular element in the compound, which was 26.98. And you can call it grams per mole. It really doesn't matter. Just use the number. And then we're going to divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound. That's a basic percentage, right? Part over, then whole. So this is 83.98. And then just to make sure we have it in a percentage, we multiply it then by 100. So when we do that, we get a value here of approximately, I'm just going to erase that work, uh, the approximately 32.13-ish. Uh, and that's in terms of percent. That would be the percent by mass for aluminum. So now since we want to find the mass percent of fluorine, all we're simply going to do is take the total mass of fluorine here that we found, 57, and then we're going to simply divide it by then the total mass of the entire compound of 83.98, right? And then multiply it by 100. That's a simple percent formula, part over whole times 100. Now when we plug that all into our handy dandy calculator, what we're going to find is a value of 67. I don't know, about 87, I think percent. All right. And that's the mass percent of then fluorine. Now the percentages in the in entire compound should always add up to 100. So that's a good check for yourself. So what you can now do is add these columns together or add these, I should say, rows in the column together and it would equal 100%. So I'm pretty sure we're good. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I really do hope this video helps. If it does help us out, like, subscribe, even maybe mention us to some of your classmates. We appreciate it. And we look forward to helping you with more problems. We've got thousands of videos out there for you. We'll see you soon.